What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 weapon review video. Obviously in Forsaken we've gotten a lot of new weapons with random rolls and I want to go over a new archetype of pulse rifle. It is called the right side of wrong. Let's go over the perks. So this new pulse rifle comes with aggressive burst, hard hitting four round burst pulse rifle. Yes, just like in Destiny 1, Destiny 1 had four round bursts and now these ones have four round bursts. Super excited to have those back. Sightwise, I have the Wolf Sight W1 which increases handling speed and slightly increases range. They have the Dust Dot d1 which increases range in general to medium zoom sight magazine wise you have tactical mag which slightly increases ability increases reload speed and slightly increases magazine size they have extended mag greatly increases magazine size at the cost of reload speed it drops that reload speed a lot next for trait perk number one we have moving target increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights and they have kill clip reloading after kill grants increased damage now how to obtain this weapon this is a tangled sword theme weapon again so you can get it from completing those one bounties from spider or you can get it from completing weekly challenges or just activities inside of the tangled shore and the dreaming city i've got it to drop from both but still this weapon is pretty abundant and you should be able to get it fairly easily so here's a summary of what i use and my thoughts on the perks so site wise i currently have on the wolf w1 site but i suggest using any low zoom site that's available that you get on a random roll to keep that handling speed up because this thing can smack from a range regardless so there's really no point in trying Trying to increase the range on it like obviously there's a bunch of different sites to choose from just go with the one that has the lowest zoom if you have a pretty good roll on it magazine wise i went with tactical mag over extended mag for the increase to stability reload speed and magazine size like obviously tactical mag is a really good perk in general i really don't use extended mag especially on weapons in pvp activities mostly unless it has something like outlaw on it which increases the reload speed but still i usually don't use extended mag like other good options uh, to use would be things like steady rounds and flared magwell to keep that stability up on this thing trait number one moving target is a pretty solid perk for the circuit type of pulse show because like of that range stat right it'll help the stickiness of the weapon so you'll be able to smack some people at a range with this thing like you it just feels really good especially when you're moving around like you move around a little quicker too like it's pretty solid other good options would be things like zen moment so once you get some damage on keep that stability up things like head seeker and outlaw like all those perks would be pretty solid in that section as well for trait number two kill clip is definitely the best perk to have in the game especially for pvp like all the best guns use kill clip especially in the crucible like other good options would be things like Rampage, which is obviously pretty solid as well, especially in PvP and PvE. Full Auto, things like Range Finder help increase the range when you aim down sight, and Head Seeker. Mod-wise, mine came with a Counterbalance mod actually on it, which was pretty good. I didn't actually have to put a mod on it, so the recoil direction is pretty close to vertical, especially for these type of pulse rifles. I highly recommend putting on a Counterbalance mod over any other mod for these types. Obviously, this is supposed to be a little more of a ranged weapon, and you definitely want to make sure it stays consistent. The masterwork I have on it also came with a range masterwork. So essentially, this is probably one of the ideal god roll weapons to have. Good amount of range, vertical recoil, increased target acquisition and moving speed, and kill clip. It's pretty wild. PvE wise, I don't have any footage, but I can say it performed fairly well. Having kill clip is definitely a plus, but I feel with random rolls, you could potentially get a better roll for like PvE. Like obviously mine, like kill clip is great, moving target is great, but things like Outlaw and Rampage, those two pair together so well. I actually have another aggressive frame pulse. It's called Go Figure. Uh, it actually has those two perks on it. It performs super, super well in PvE orient activities. Plus things like Kill Clip is obviously good and high impact reserves is great as well for PvE orient activities. If you want a PvE rolls, those were the perks that would probably go well with it. PvP wise, in the Crucible, this pulse is nasty. Like I think all the aggressive pulses are pretty good, but this one in particular with the God roll is crazy good. With Forsaken, obviously that new archetype of pulses come around. Aggressive burst, hard hitting, four burst fire. Uh, this can two tap if you hit all of your headshots consistently with certain guardians in their resilience. I don't know what the resilience stat has to be, but still, I've dropped people with just two taps if I hit all the headshots. But with Kill Clip, it can completely melt Guardians easily with the two bursts with body shots, man. Like, it is crazy how good this thing is. Pretty sure the TTK can definitely be under one second. It's probably under 0.7, um, even with just not Kill Clip activated. But with Kill Clip activated, obviously, it'd be a little faster. But still, uh, this thing is crazy, especially from our range and keeping consistent with moving target, particularly in my, like, in my pulse rifle that I have. This is a beast in PvP, man. Like, this is the ideal roll. Ideal roll hardcore. You definitely want that counterbalance mod and maybe like a ranger stability masterwork. But still, this thing, like the roll that I have, is amazing. Do not sleep on aggressive pulses. They are super, super good. 
find my ranking is like a 10 out of 10. Overall, this is probably one of the best rolls you can get for this archetype of weapon, especially for PvP. Obviously for PvE, you can get a different one. Obviously I said my, my other one comes with Outlaw and Rampage. That's obviously super, super great for PvE activities. And I feel like the aggressive bursts are in a good place and I hope they don't like nerf them in any way. Hopefully there's buff ups, like maybe some other weapons, but aggressive pulses, super great place right now. Do not, again, do not sleep on these. They are crazy good right now. All right, guys, that's my review over the right side of wrong aggressive frame pulse rifle. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below. Say best way to support me. I'll take you to a four minute video. If you want to go check that out? That'd be awesome. But if you don't want to do that, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, turn the notification bell, next subscribe if you want to be notified when I drop some new content on the channel. And then comment y'all will see below. Again, making content for you, whatever you want to see. Try it out there as quickly as possible. Also, we have the Discord link below. There's no requirements to join in Discord. We also have some test chats going about this two Forsaken, some upcoming games that I'm excited about, things like Division 2 and Anthem. And then obviously I have some voice chats. So if you want to talk to me, it's going to be the best place to do that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.